Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at something unique occurring in the solar system right now. Doesn't happen very often, but all of the planets are sharing something in common. Hasn't happened probably a handful of times in the last hundred years. But first, we're here at the website going to check out the Schumann Resonance. Looks pretty decent, not too much going on. Hopping over to the supervolcano Caldera at Yellowstone. Looks typical to what we've been seeing over the past several weeks into months. A little bit of activity going across the caldera in all directions. Not exactly sure where all of that energy is coming from, albeit small it's still there. Also here recently we've seen that unique radar signature out here in Arizona and it seems to be unique to Arizona. Can't find it anywhere else on earth. What I've done is put together a compilation of the three times that it's occurred. It occurred, you're seeing here, May 31st into June 1st. Kind of got it going fast forward because there's a lot of data and then it went into uh, first part of June, and then the middle of June, right around the, well, the end of June, 25th of June, and then it occurred again uh, July 10th and 11th, and all of that data is here in this little video compilation, plus something else I think you guys are going to find very unique, and I've made an interesting connection. Uh, it's just a theory, but to me, it works, and I'm going to share it with you guys here in just a moment. And I'm going to share the unique position that not only the Earth is in, but all of the planets in the solar system. But you're looking at the radars from May, June, and July, and we're seeing these uh, very tall cloud signatures. That's what the radar is implying, that these cloud tops are in the you know, 85, 90, and even 95,000 foot range. Um, looking at severe thunderstorms in the indicated areas when there there weren't thunderstorms. So something unique going on. I think it was much more than a glitch. I ended up finding it, thanks to Shelley uh, of Gilbert, Arizona, on yet another radar, uh, the next rad radar. We're going to take a look at that also in this video. June 25th, it occurred during the overnight hours, the 24th into the 25th. And right there it is lasted for several hours like it did the other times that occurred in the evening hours so it wasn't just limited to something that occurred in the evening in june uh, 25th to 24th during the overnight hours and there's what it looked like on uh, windy.com showed up on windy every time this occurred also showed up on an app that i use called my radar which is right there that's the one I use on my phone. And then we're also going to take a look at it on Nexrad. It showed up on Nexrad too. But I want you to watch something here on this radar uh, feed that I uh, recorded off my phone and then transferred it to my laptop. Do you see that right there? That's up in the rim country. We're going to take a look at that in slow motion. There it is on windy.com. And again, this is the most recent that we've seen, June 10th and June 11th. Took a look at the visible radar and infrared, didn't see anything unique. There's what it looked like on the 10th. Now we're going to go up into here in just a second. This is down in southern Arizona. Again, very, very dark purple, which is the top of the scale. Um, nothing goes to the, those heights and when it, and with regard to severe thunderstorms. I mean, the highest they go, you know, 70,000 is very, very tall. That's showing 90 and 95,000. Here we are up in the rim country. I, I recorded this again on my phone. This is the My Radar app. And something very unique was occurring during these radar anomalies up in the rim country. Check this out. See these, like, structures that are appearing? Look at that. They don't look typical, like a typical radar signature, huh? Look at that right there. Those look identical. They look like two, sh uh, two ships, two crafts, and they morph over into one. Check this out. I've never seen anything like that. Never seen anything like that. And again, that was during these unusual radar uh, loops that we were seeing. That was up right up in here, up in the rim country, north of Phoenix. Then, 
Thanks to Shelly. Uh, found it on the Nexrad radar. See it right down there? June 11th and 12th. I use uh, Nexrad quite a bit. It's very, very good. I just did not use it uh, the last time this occurred. Found it on the Nexrad uh, during this event. So it was on three different radars. And there it is. It looks more of a, a bright red. And you can see the, the white that is uh, indicating like 95,000 feet, which is just not common. Even during an extreme weather event, cloud tops don't get that, that high. I mean, that's two and a half times higher than airplanes fly. In some cases, three times higher than airplanes fly. Um, I'm going to show you this loop in multiple formats. And you're going to see down here in the lower right hand uh, corner something uh, red and white. And again, that's the top of the scale moving through the southern Arizona area. I don't know what's going on. And, and I, I put 95,000 because that's what it's implying. See the, the white over here on the right-hand side? That's the top of the graph. It just doesn't go any higher than that because there's never any storms that are ever anticipated to even go that high. But there was something you're going to see in different formats down at the bottom of the screen moving from right to left I put it in fast forward and use different formats see that right there zipping through and then all through the Phoenix metro area extending all the way down to Tucson shows up on next red as a bright red but down at the bottom you can see something with white and pinks that's at the very top of the chart uh, I don't know moving right there as a unified structure almost across the screen from from right to left that would be from east southeast to west northwest don't know guys this is all new to me as well um, now that we found it on three different radars um, to me it's it's not a glitch something was being detected by these radars that's what they do they detect energy and it did just that what exactly it is, I'm not sure. But I, I did notice a uh, unique coincidence. Here is a planetary map of the solar system looking down from above and right now and actually right before all of these unique radar signatures started appearing, uh, again, only unique to Arizona, all of the planets are sharing one side of the sun. So that means all of the energy from all of the planets, including Pluto, are on the right-hand side of the sun. There's 360 degrees of space for these planets to occupy. They're only using 180. All over here on the right, again, if we're looking down from above, we're going to look at yet another map I put together, and I drew a straight line across the the center of the sun that separates the right side from the left and you can see all of the planets again including Pluto are on that side of the sun that's rare that does not happen very often here's another perspective of what I just showed you there's all of the gas giants and then the smaller interior planets are in close but they're all on that side of the sun something I noticed um, and again this is possibly a coincidence I don't know but the strange signatures on the radar that we've been seeing occurred during this unique planetary arrangement it's not necessarily an alignment it's a planetary arrangement all of the planets are sharing one side of the Sun which is rare so in this cone that I've made you have Mercury you have Venus you have obviously the Earth Mars Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. All in here. And I consider Pluto a planet. After what I saw from the horizons, that's a planet. It's, albeit small, but it's a planet uh, to me. So you have seven right in that cone. So could energy from the planets being in such close quarters have caused that anomaly on Earth? I don't know. It's just a possibility. Just trying to think outside the box. That's all. Here we go back to May 31st. And you can see all of the planets are not only on the 
you know, same side of the sun, like I said, they have 360 degrees to, to occupy and they're using 180 degrees, half of the space. You have Venus, Earth, Mars, all in this tube here that I put together, all in this area. They're all confined to that same general area. So could the energy from those planets be showing up um, as an odd radar signature at times? Here we go to June 24th when we saw uh, June 24th and 25th more radar anomalies and once again very close quarters Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn and then Pluto all right there in that cone that I put together. So just a thought that's all. Uh, this is very rare doesn't happen very often like I said just a handful of times in a hundred years and it's happening right now and we're seeing strange radar signatures on radar only unique to Arizona and we have all of the planets sharing one side of the solar system so just food for thought guys I'm trying to think outside the box as to what could possibly you know be causing these very unique radar signatures and I don't know I've said before and you guys all well know the planets they communicate with each other through electromagnetism uh, and what if that is a form of energy from all of these planets being uh, in such close quarters don't know just food for thought but anyway all of the planets are sharing one side of the solar system which is a very rare event in itself if you guys are new viewers make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel click on this bell that way you'll be notified each time i upload a new video if you're current subscribers simply double check make sure you're still subscribed and make sure that bell is still activated if you guys have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mrmbb333.com all of the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery and sometimes i'll use them in a picture slideshow like you see in a lot of my videos thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there.